Hey, hey, what's happening all you mechanic maniacs or squeeze are here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. If you missed out on the Rot the Rad video I did, you, um, you'll you notice that I did get my signs changed in here. Um, along with, I did change, this was a 2021 calendar, so I changed it out to um, that picture there. And then I changed up, let's close that door. Uh, my 2024 calendar, thanks to RPM Games, Ryan over at RPM Games, um, for the Cutlass picture. And then I just kind of created the calendar from there. So, yeah, <laughs> we are now up to date. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's nice to have that, huh? Let's keep that open. Um, our last episode, we did, we are doing the GTR here. This is one I am going to uh, probably sell. Um just to get some cash out of it. It's going to be worth 113000 Um That way I'm making some money back into the garage. I am like really lousy right now with any cash flow. Uh, it's been kind of rough. So yeah. So how's everyone doing? I hope this video is finding you all happy and healthy. Yeah, we are uh, actually going to rip this engine apart. And we're going to use everything, anything and everything we possibly can off of it. Um, repair it and replace the burden and put it all back together. Hopefully we can repair a lot of, oh, that throttle looks like a bad shape. Yeah, 10% death throttles are not going back on. So anything and everything that can be repaired will be repaired. And I think, let's see what we got here. This is always tricky. You're like, okay, this is like a jigsaw puzzle. You gotta take away part A before you can take away part B. There we go. Now I can take the belt off. Now everything here can be taken off. All these rollers, no matter what, will have to be replaced. These are not repairable items. I'm not too worried about it. They're very fairly inexpensive. Crankshaft pulley, we both we all know that it's 200 bucks. We knew that from the other, from our 20k challenge. That was pretty wild. I think I enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know. I'll, I'll probably do um, try to do a couple more like that. I think uh, those are always always fun and challenging to do. Um, always a blast to kind of do those. Get the spark plugs out. Take the cover off? No, I gotta take everything off over here. Like the coils, I have to replace all the coils. So this is because it's gonna be a classic creation. This is gonna back together with just a just the stock parts. I'm not putting anything uh no high performance parts in here or not. We're not we're not looking to get, you know, a lot of performance out of it. We are looking just to put it back into It's stock configuration, it's stock self, so we can, there we go. Now we can take that off. That looks horrific. Yep, 12%. Um, I don't know if I have one of those in, the, in my storehouse, in my warehouse. I don't think I do. That's going to be a bummer. That's going to be a showstopper for sure. Cams. Look like they're in decent shape. Yeah. Okay, heads are coming off. Heads look like they're in good shape, so that's cool. We have no... We don't have an oil pan. Or did I have an oil pan? I just have it in the... I have it in there somewhere. All right. Uh... Okay. What do we got here. Yeah, I think we had an oil pan. I think I may have taken it off. Hopefully, hopefully I've got it stashed somewhere. Hopefully I didn't sell it. Let's get rid of that piston. Get rid of that piston. These rods. Uh, that one looked like it was in horrible shape. It was in 30... 30%. So, wow. Run. 
rod caps look like they've been in pretty decent shape, so I'm happy about that. Oof. Yeah, I keep thinking, I don't think I have a cover. I don't think I have a cover in my warehouse. If I do, it'll be by sure luck that I have one. That's out, that's out, and that's out, and that's off. All right. Now, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and repair everything that we possibly can repair. And we'll see what we're left with. So funny that the clutch is repairable, but like the flywheel can't be repaired. Flywheels typically you can turn them like brakes. Whole lot of red in these things. Holy cow. Doing pretty well though. Not gonna jinx myself. <laughs> All this repairing. Raining my bank account. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the cars I am going to sell. Just to regain some of my cash flow back into the garage. Because I wanna I wanna repair that barracuda, that 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 magenta barracuda out there. That's the one I want to drag in here and start repairing. Uh, slowly but surely. They've been sitting out there way too long. I've got some chargers out back I'd love to get my hands on, get them repaired. So yeah, I've got a lot of cars around the shop that I would love to have repaired. So I need to get to it, but I need to make some money doing it, right? So yeah, that's part of it, it's just... Okay, one engine block, one crankshaft. Uh, all right, both, all three of those, good shape. Good deal. Okay, both power steering, yep. And the alternator. We're good. All right, so I'm gonna need pistons, and I'm gonna need a flywheel. So let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff. I have the clutch is repaired. Uh, we need a pressure plate, throwout bearing, and a flywheel. As far as engine, uh, we need pistons. Eight of those. Eight of those. All right. And we'll find out if I've got oil pan or not. I'm just kind of going to go through this without even looking at my inventory real quick. Let's see what I can build. So far, so far it's looking pretty good. Got one piston back down there to go. Uh, where are you? Right there you are. Well, back here, might as well do this. And boom, that's done. So the lower end will be definitely done. Pretty easy, it looks like, because everything got repaired very well, except for the pistons. Like, pistons can't be repaired, so I have to buy those brand new. Okay. V8 oil pan. Do I have a V8 oil pan? Uh, warehouse. Engines and exhaust oil. Ooh, I do. Cool. All right. Okay, 
I didn't even look to see if my GTR... Dang it. Um, yeah, look, I had my oil pan in there. So I've got... That's okay. That's okay, though. That You saw me repair it, so that's not a big deal. Um, engines and exhaust. So I've got two freaking oil pans right now. One of them got repaired. So, yeah, I should have looked at that first. Big dummy. Okay, now we need the oil filter, which is... Heads cleaned up really nice. They were in really good shape. The block and the heads were in great shape. So it's like, that was, I was pretty happy with that. Exhaust manifolds came out okay. I'm waiting for that stomper, that, that, that one item that I can't replace. And it's going to be that plate up front. Probably the plate. Okay, uh, intake. That cleaned up real nice. Um, fuel rails. I've got one of them, so I need another one. Um, so I need a fuel rail. These can't be replaced or can't be repaired. Neither are the spark plugs. So let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, cam gear. I need four of those. Spark plugs. Eight of those. And while I'm there, I um, might as well get the coils. Eight of those. I'm not putting in bad gears. Holy cow. That would be awful. I could skip through it and, and put in that one bad gear. Um, throttle. Fuel filter I need, so I need to pick that up. Okay. Belts. I need two of these. Those. Okay, now this cover. <sighs> okay. Cover throttle and a fuel rail. So I don't know if I've got that stuff. Let's go. Uh, engines and exhaust. Um. I'm going to need one of those, I know for sure. Throttle. Oh, I've got a couple of them. Um, take that one. Fuel. Fuel rail. All right, I got fuel rail as well. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I've got cover. Um, got one and it's at 12%. Um, nope, that's, that's mine. Silly me. Um, hey! Got one. Holy crap, I got a few of them. So it does pay off to keep junk. I'm not a hoarder by no means, but it did pay off to keep some of the stuff that I would find and buy. Um, this usually come out of cars that I needed something else on, right? Like if it was a car that I needed a suspension, a particular suspension piece on, then 
I'd look to see, does it have, does it have a fuse box? Does it have a radiator I could use? Does it have this, that, and the other? And then typically I would just strip those pieces off of it. Just because I would know I would need it in the future. And that's probably why my, my money is where it's at right now. I really um, try to look ahead as I'm stripping cars when I get them out of the junkyard or from the auction. Um, see what pieces I may need in the future and put them in the storeroom. So, got lucky. Okay, that covers on, that covers on. Okay, so, water pump. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so I need... So I need... Five of you, and because I know I need two of you, crankshaft pulley, 250, yikes. More than I wanted to spend, but okay. Got a 736, man. I've spent a lot of money on this car just getting it back into shape. Belt. Belt tensioners can't be repaired either. Okay. Water pump. Water pumps can be repaired, so... Yikes. Um, water? Oh! Oh, I got one that's already 100%. I don't know why it's in there at 100%. I probably repaired it by mistake. Um, figures, but I'm going to take it. It was there, so I'm good. Got a belt. And the other roller. And is that it? Oh, the throttle. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, we just built this an engine. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing off. Go ahead and stick her back in our GTR over here. Oops, need this to do that with. All right, so that's in. So while that's in, let's go ahead and put some fluids in her. I have to go back and look to see if I have a transmission or anything for it. I don't know if I do. Listening to these these uh, reservoirs get filled makes me want to go pee. <laughs> Last reservoir. Nope, I've got the uh, washing fluid, the windshield fluid. Is done. Now I should have. Oh, wait a minute. Engine cover. The engine cover, I think I have it. I think I've got. Let me go back into the warehouse here. Uh, what? I thought I had the engine cover. Did I sell it? No way. No way. Anything in there? Um, maybe I put it someplace else. Hang on. Shoot.
Yikes. There it is. Oof. Okay. So let's get rid of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought I thought we had that. Okay, we've got a couple of spare pieces. Whew. Okay, I thought, oh my god, did I what did I do? Did I did I just screw up big time? Okay, so that's all done. Close the hood on that. Close the hood on that. Okay, never mind. I need a starter. And... Yikes, okay. okay. I need a starter and I don't have a starter. So, looks like the exhaust isn't completely hooked up on this thing. Um... What can I say? I, I really wish, you know, even though the modders do a really good job for the most part, um, I wish everything would fit well. I mean, even, um, even if it, I mean, I've seen some of the custom jobs these guys have done on my Discord channel. I'm sure the modders can do the same thing. They can do the same thing. They can fit something in here and make it work. You know what I mean? This is kind of horrible. All right, I think I think that's done. I really think that's done, with the exception of um, we are 100% with the exception of the front license plate. I think no. Okay, what am I missing out on here? Missing something. Part four in the windshield. Okay, so the windshield needs to be replaced. Um, what's part four? Yikes. Okay. So let me jump in here. And we'll find part four. Uh, part four. Not quite sure what that is, but I'm going to look for it. Um, need the windshield, so... Okay. Is it... Fuel tank? No. Something on the inside. I don't know. Put the windshield in. All right, let's go ahead and put you. see anything in there yeah not seeing it anywhere It's this piece up here. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. It's my little satellite radio thing. Oh, body. There we go. Now we're good. Kind of figured I'd find it eventually. Okay, so with that 
Um, we are 100% across the board. Um, we're going to paint it back the factory color, but we're going to go... Um, let's go ahead and line everything up. Move the car over here to test path. Just to get everything done. We don't want to sell a car that's half done, right? Lights. That lights are way out of whack. Here we go. Alrighty, now you're going to send you over to the paint booth. We're going to paint you back the color that you were before. Factory color. Not too bad looking a car, right? And then we're going to send you over to the dyno. Just for giggles. We should be able to just go ahead and get to it. horsepower meets our factory horsepower so we do have this car completely done top to bottom there we go she's an okay looking car I guess not too bad but I am going to sell her let me go get the hot rod the hot rods over in a Dino shop. There we go. All right. So yeah, for this one, um, it was a fun build. It was a classic creation, but uh, yeah, I'm going to sell her. Our status. What are we gonna get out of it? Two ten. Woohoo! Okay. Nice. Yeah, we're going to sell for 210. Cha-ching. All right, we're back up to 944. And just as a project car, we are going to take the Magenta Cuda here. And I am going to move it into... I'm going to move it to the garage. All right, let's go clean you up a little bit. I've been waiting to get my hands on this, to be honest with you. Um, it is not, the magenta is not the original color for this, which is unfortunate. Uh, this is like one of the, uh, to the current color, the factory color is orange. Um, but we are going to keep it magenta. Definitely going to keep it this magenta look. This will be pretty much a classic creation as well. Uh, I am going to do as much as I can, probably do some internal uh, modifications as far as power is concerned, but this is going to get built. Put this on the second lifter. All right. So yeah, our, our baby right here is going to get some much needed <laughs> love. All right. So now what do we do? Um, that's our project. So let's, let's hit another barn. Let's see what we can find. Um, I don't know if we're going to do another, another challenge or do another barn find. Um, I, I tell you what, we'll do another barn find. If I come across, uh, next episode, maybe we'll do a challenge. Okay. All right. Let's go check out some barns. All right. Got my flashlight on. 
I was hoping like right off the bat I would find a map. Running into some pretty cool pieces. Is this, did I look at this before? Yeah. I did. Oh, it's a moon hawk. There's so a pretty classy looking moon hawk here. I think it's got a nice paint job on it. Um, does it have all the tires? I can't really tell. Looks like it might. What is the price tag on this bad boy? Twenty two six, and it's worth twenty two nine. So three hundred bucks less than what it's worth. Um, that could be a possibility. Back into a classic creation. I mean, it looks like it looks like it had a pretty decent. The wheels are shot on it, though. I can tell you right now, the wheels are not going to happen. Um, I'd have to find another one, and that's going to be that would be difficult to find. It's easy to, when you know what you're looking for, you just kind of scan through these things real quick. Oh, looks like we got the uh, A-Team van. Ah, oh, it's missing a wheel. Looks like the A-Team van anyway. Old cargo. Missing a wheel. Maybe two, I can't really tell. Really tell if it's missing two or not. Uh, Roadrunner. I think it's got all its body pieces. It's a decent color. I think. Wheels are in bad shape. The engine's not in too rough of a shape. Okay, so the colors. Colors got me intrigued. This colors got me intrigued. So, 72 Plymouth Roadrunner, under 150,000 miles. What's the price tag on it? 26, and it's valued at 31. Look like we got ourselves a bad boy right here. Let me just take a look at this. Yeah, 28, and it's worth 27. Yeah, that's, no, that's not, that's not, that's no haps right there. That is just not happening. Okay, so I think we got ourselves I think we got ourselves a deal right here. Yeah. I'm gonna buy the car, I'm gonna send it to the garage. So we've got ourselves another classic creation of to build. Nice. And I like the color of it. This is, it reminds me of the color of the cutlass we just that I just the calendar I just did. Alright. Um can't find there's usually a barn. In here, uh, uh, a map, and I must be missing it. So, guess what I'm gonna do is head back to the garage right now. Oh well, that's okay. It's all good. Um, we'll have more garage, more more barns. All right, let's get to the garage. All right. Hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's send this back over here. To clean it up. Let's see what we got here. We've got some classic, some classic Mopars in the house. Oh, look at that color. Look at that color. That is 
Beautiful. Oh, I'm missing a taillight. All right. Didn't even see that. That wheel is shot, so we're going to have to find... So we're going to have to find some, some new wheels. Uh, she cleaned up pretty good, though. All right. I think that was a pretty good find, to be quite honest with you. So, yeah, this is going to be our next build. Brown interior. I really hate the brown interior, but okay. All right. A couple of nice Mopars in the garage right now for our next Barn Bargain and other cheap challenges. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, too, if you would, please. That really helps me out. And uh, I will talk to you next week. This is Quasar saying goodnight, everyone. And I'm out.